Thought number five. In this season, this political season, go ahead and vote your conscience. But can you do it without quarreling? Can you do it without arguing? I mean, let me be clear. At Gateway, we believe you should vote. We believe it is a right as an American citizen, if you live in this country, to vote. And it's amazing how some of us take for granted this little card. This is my card. It has my name on it. And my wife and I waited a long time. I don't know if there's a backup in paperwork. We moved to the area. We did it. And we thought we were going to have to re-register to vote. And it finally came in this last week. And I was surprised as a 43-year-old man who has voted my entire adult life, how excited I got when this came in the mail. And my kids are like, you're weird. It's a card with orange on it. What, what is that? I'm like, are you kidding me? This tells me that I am a U.S. citizen with the ability to vote and make a difference with my vote. And they're like, okay. And they went back to their rooms. How many of us take for granted some of the rights we have that somebody else gave us the right to have by laying down their life? How many times do we take for granted the life we have in Jesus Or the life we could have in Jesus, the one who laid down his life for us. See, it's what we do as humans. It's what we do sometimes as Americans. We take for granted things. And at Gateway, we want you to know you should not take that for granted. You should vote. You should vote your conscience. Now, what is a conscience? On the screen, right there where you're watching. An inner feeling or voice viewed as acting as a guide to the rightness or wrongness of one's behavior. What is the voice we are listening to? And last week, John, our lead pastor, encouraged you to spend more time reading the Bible or as much time reading the Bible as you watch the news or listening to whatever voices you have. That inner voice. 